Hi everybody, host Brian Holland here with Judge Tom Daniel. Welcome to the Winning Agendas YouTube channel for our Meat Space video series. I believe it was coined by uh, Wilfred Horrig, who is playing uh, prepaid Kate on the right against a good friend and friend of the show, I might say, Jesse Marshall there on the go. left, who is playing his Gagarin mid mid range list. Yeah. So, so should... how do you feel this uh, this matchup is going to go? Uh, a solid kind of mid range deck. It's, versus... it's, it's uh, I guess what is really a dedicated control deck. It does have a lot of game in the in the mid game, especially if Kate gets her her dealies up early. Um, where I mean, I'm excited to see what Jesse's done. He's been brewing mid range Wayland probably since the core set. He really likes making the two prong strategy work. You know, being able to score successfully with the scorch as the backup. Wilfie knows knows the deck. Um, he probably doesn't want to go for that extra tax as much. Like, yeah, it, it should be really. It, it'll be interesting, hopefully. So hopefully, I mean, we all we want to see interesting games. Have you played either of these decks before? Yeah, I mean, prepaid Kate's very very popular. Yeah, uh, so I've played it quite a lot. So, if you're playing, uh, you're sitting in Wilfred C, what do you want to see in your opening hand? Uh, well, I've never played prepaid Kate before. I played against it. Is that what oh, you okay. Yeah, I sure, played yeah. against it. <laughs> Look, you, you, you want to see um, Lucky Finds, uh, prepaid voice pads, uh, SMCs, um, Diesel. Your Diesel is a yep. solid opening because it finds the things you want to have. Oh, Wilfie obviously chose to keep his hand, so that's pretty mm. good. Just had just a very ice ice money opening, which is fine. And we're also seeing Technical Riders here, which is a card that is new from Data and Destiny. Um, so it, it, you get a credit on it whenever you install a program or hardware and you can pay a click to take all the credits off it. Does um, it uh, trash itself when you it do that? It trashes itself yep. when you do that, yeah, that's correct. So it'll sit there banking up and then for the late game, um, you can get that burst of credits that you need. It's a really cool card, a lot of people are playing instead of daily casts, I think, in this list. Sure. So does it kind of fulfill an, uh, a role almost similar to the prepaid? Uh, voice pad where it's good to come down early and it gives you that mm, solid money yeah. advantage. If you don't have, if you don't have uh, technical writer early, it's it's really going to hurt. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we've got the Mirror Marty on HQ there, which is a uh, very basic barrier, but gets a strength buff when it's on HQ. So it's really will Wilfy go and get the lady, and it, it looks like he's just going to bounce, force Jesse to spend some money, play out his uh, clone ship. Yep, and pa pass the turn on down. So this is pretty good, uh, I guess an alright start mm -hmm. for, for Wolfie. Uh, I'm guessing he'd want to see a bit more money. Yeah, I mean, he's still, still sitting on five credits. Those technical riders will hopefully be putting in work uh, over time, but that's, that's still a long game strategy. Uh, once Wolfie gets his prepaids down, starts firing off some lucky finds, short gambles. Yeah. It's good. I think I saw a snare in Jesse's hand still, so that's where some of his influence is. So, and he, I don't think Jesse's the type to play it out. I think he likes to keep it... Um, in HQ where it can be randomly accessed almost like some extra HQ protection yep now yeah. uh, we saw a second remote come down now the the other one uh, he installed the turn before mm -hmm. um, in this kind of deck what do you think that's going to be it's obviously not a, a pad campaign or anything no, like no, that no no I think it could be could be a Jackson or um, it could also be a public support not the first card the second card could be a public support which is um, an asset which has power counters on it which tick down and after mm -hmm. they're all gone presuming the card isn't trashed uh, will become one agenda point. So it's essentially a way to turn on cards like uh, Archer yep. without taking on the bad publicity. Now you mentioned uh, Lady. Yeah, and Lady, Lady's down, down to clown. So as you say. that would make mm. uh, so that makes HQ. Uh, yeah, so well, just yeah. obviously aware that HQ is no longer safe. I think uh, Lady can get through uh, HQ or get through Marimati for a one credit and one of her four counters. So blisteringly mm. fast pace here from yeah, these guys. Very so good. I mean, I thought we thought Jesse just played a turn. I think he just took money in, right? And there's Caduceus. So, um, Caduceus will... The douche. Yeah, <laughs> the douche, as we say, uh, can make those monies back for Jesse, um, but it's going to create a tax here, but I think Wilfie's just going to go get the Mimic, I think this list still plays, which, uh, it, uh, Caduceus is binary ice once the Mimic is down. It's just going to be a two credit tax. Yep. But it, it's fine. Like, Wolfie obviously really doesn't want those f subroutines to fire and have Jesse get his ice for free. Uh, remembering the yeah. uh, the trigger off mm -hmm. the... A technical writer technical as well, which is good to see. And we're throwing an ash on top, which is not... Uh, electing not no, to trash? No. Electing not to trash, yeah. Um, well, the, basically what Gagarin does, it makes everything with a trash cost, which is in a remote one more to trash a lot of the time. So that's why Publix, Jesse really is a big fan of public support in this list. I certainly hope he's still playing it. I don't going to sound like an idiot when I keep talking about this <laughs> card that just never turns up. If, uh, Wouldn't thing, be the first time. The, well, the, yeah, the, the thing about public support is you do want it early. And the fact that we haven't seen one yet for Jesse. Oh, but look at this. Okay. Oh. Uh, Seesaw Scorched. Wilby's having a rough day. Oh. Now he's thinking, thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Seesaw's scorched. Is that it? I didn't catch how many cards were in Wilby's hand. Obviously only three. Maybe Wilby didn't expect 
Um, Jesse, they have both parts of the combo yet? So we're going to do it one at a time. I think they're just figuring out the trace strength. So Wolfie has four credits. Jesse has, I think, seven. What did he do? Maybe he miscounted? Oh, this is embarrassing for Mr. Jesse Marshall. Perhaps we can go to our man, man on the scene, Mr. Tim Caruso, who will be playing some games later in this, this feed. He was acting as a handy cam in the next room. Okay, so I think what looks like has happened is Jesse uh, miscounted his trace strength, or the, the trace strength that he would need, uh, and also the credits to play Scorched and Sea Source. But he has unfortunately given a bit of information away. Yeah, so Tim has confirmed uh, that Jesse miscalculated. It happens sometimes. But, you know, Tom, can I just say, that's what you get for just throwing the cards down. Yeah. Like, yeah. Is he doing the old, you know, like, oh, yeah, uh, go go tutor up my combo piece, but it's actually in your hand, and you hope your opponent's going to concede without thinking about it. But no, we just, no, Jesse wouldn't do that. Uh, so I'm just what, teasing him. So is that uh, Oaktown renovation? It's Oaktown renovation. So, I mean, because we'll be seeing it now, like, Jess, Jesse might just be trying to bait him out. So he's, he's rezzed it, and... Um, Basically, every time he advances it, he's going to increase his economic advantage. Mm. And also, in the end there, get some points. Now, it's in a server with, I want to say that's where the ash went to. So, and uh, Wolfie probably knows that because he saw the ash off the top. So, Wolfie's not in a position to be able to both get in there, beat the ash trash, trace, and, and steal it at this point, I don't think. We potentially could with one Well, he would, but, th but then it would take it. Well, yes, if he popped the technical rider, it might take him out of the scorched range. But I think all he really has to do is pass the turn with five cards. We don't know if Jesse has the second Scorch in hand. It's reasonably unlikely. But maybe he just sometimes keep an opening hand with a Seesaw Scorch Scorch. Yeah. Okay. So it's like a technic one of the two technical riders is being popped. And the other one still has four credits on it, I believe. Four or five. Or six. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're very good at this. Okay. So that's first clicks the second. So yeah, the other thing prepaid Kate is very good is just popping a whole bunch of money out of nowhere. So he's gonna run there. Will Jesse res? Assume he will. Yep, there's the ash. Let's see the strength here. If Jesse's gonna boost. Might just leave it at four. Four is still load, turns it into an NAPD contract. Both players just doing doing some math here. They're doing the mathematics. Makes for good uh, Good video content. Mm. Less less good audio content. We should probably <laughs> just give him some... Uh, give an abacus. Throw an abacus An there. abacus nearby. Yeah. Well, we have a human abacus in the quiet American <laughs> <laughs> sitting nearby. <laughs> um, okay, so it uh, looks like Wolfie has elected to trash the ash. And has to pay one to access the cars on the server as well. So that's the extra tax. And that's two, two points. So Jesse's down on five credits here to Wolfie's seven. So definitely not within Seesaw Scorch range. Well, he's got the money up. These technical riders are really putting in work, mm. which is good. I'm so I assume you're new to this, new to this particular card. Yeah, no, I'm too familiar with the latest. I'm, set. I'm impressed, though. Yeah, you're impressed. Yeah, I think uh, for everyone listening at home, I think uh, Wolf, Wolfie Hogue was the inspiration for the art on technical rider as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so I'm really not sure what Jesse's doing here. What are you thinking if you're in Jesse's position? You sort of literally shun all your cards. Yeah, <laughs> you're, look, uh, obviously it's a bit. Uh, you might have been going for the cheeky score there. It's a bit tough. I guess, look, Wolfie could have potentially put him on that, mm. um, uh, regardless, but I guess he's just going to play as if he, he would put him, putting him on that. Mm -hmm. uh, I think with all the money out and with, uh, with most of that rig assembled, um, it's going to be pretty tough. Mm. I think he's just going to have to go for the yeah. even longer game. Well, Wait. Just, just like um, we say against most control decks, they give out the early game impetus, but I like to so see right here, we're getting the lucky finds coming down. And... Um, that's when you don't want to see the control deck being in the state where they're all their rigs together, they've got all the money in the world, and, mm. and like none of your none of your servers are particularly safe, particularly against a mid range deck when you're running obviously a lot of mid range ice. All right, Jesse yeah, really wants to get on some cash here and make up that deficit. I think so keep the scorch plan online because he still hasn't discarded those cards by the by the looks of it. So we've seen a discard there from the card in that server, so that might have been the cheeky snare. Yeah. It may have been the cheeky snare. I mean, got to do what you got to do, right? I suppose so. I mean, I, I might have gone off that too. I mean, uh, if that was an atlas, Jesse could have scored it. That's what I would have thought. I'd be thinking, man, I should have just put the two for three there, the three for mm. two there, and just scored it. But no, who knows? Uh, so it's the second voice pad coming down now, so Wilby's economy is more than online. And now we're seeing a maker's eye. The freebie. The freebie maker's freebie. eye. 
Yeah. Yuck. All right, so Scorched on top, good news, followed by a Quandary, and a Tour Guide. Tour Guide is a, a new Sentry, which uh, I believe has an end the run sub subroutine for every rezzed asset you have. Mm. But it is only zero strength. And I think two to res, very cheap to res, zero strength. Um, obviously very good in the early game. Again, once your opponent's got the Mimic down, it's just one of those binary gear checking pieces of ice. Now, so Jesse has 10, 10 credits here. Mm -hmm. to uh to wilfie's seven yeah so if he has kept those sea source scorched earth pieces he now has sea source and two scorched yeah i same. don't think he's got enough to beat the trace and play all three mm. of the cards though but it's the combo there is something like eight, to cre eight credits plus the strength yeah mm. so he's gone for the uh install the second piece of ice advance so i mean we can assume that might be uh, a code gate in the mix somewhere there jesse doesn't have an agenda online to turn on archer so there's quandary so it's going to force the goat to the willpower to go get the gordian blade i <coughs> go get the gordian blade i assume that's what this list plays it may also still play parasite wolfie's been changing around a few things so it could just parasite out of the way but i'm expecting the gordian blade also just because that's a consistent answer he doesn't mm. want to waste his smc uh, oh cyber cipher okay so if cyber cipher is obviously only for one server but it's yeah. just going to invalidate pretty much any code get you put on that server do so these lists typically run the cyber cyber and another break no i think what the, this list will do it'll be playing something like scavenge which will allow wilfie to reset the cyber cyber onto a different server but that's still not ideal play you 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 like i mean jesse's setting up what is to be a scoring server here and uh, that's the napd which wilfie cannot score so jesse's going to be able to score that out next turn mm. You mentioned scavenge good. before. They're also good at resetting your dogs. Yes, your dogs, your lady. Yeah, which is still sitting pretty on four counters. Ah, uh, well, if he missed a trigger there for his uh, off installing the cyber cipher with the, uh, mm -hmm. the technical riders, he's just that's taking okay. taking the beat there. Okay, that's fine. But and remembering it this time, <laughs> down comes the astrolabe, um, which might not put on a lot of work in terms of its card draw, but at this point, it's just Nakamets and Manship for the extra memory. Yep, which is ultimately what it's mostly being played for. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, against some of the Neuro Hub or, or more aggro decks or horizontal decks, as they say, it can uh, really, really head home. Um, okay, so Wolfie's going for the run again. And he will and he uh, has going to have to it. pay five there to steal that. So four for the NFD and one for the Gagarin tax. Make, making him pop another one of those technical runs, yeah. the, the big one. Yeah, well, he had to go all the way to space to get that. <laughs> That's why it cost him an extra credit. <laughs> Yeah, credits are of course a measurement of distance, distance yeah. and time in some some respects. Yeah. <laughs> uh, alrighty, so Jesse's like Jesse's not in a great position here. I mean, he might have he might have put himself on tilt after um, yeah trying to scorch out of nowhere early on. You wouldn't know much about tilt. I wouldn't know anything about it. I have never tilted in my life, and every game I've ever had has been uh, played to conclusion. Yep, <laughs> and a very happy ending. Uh, okay, so Jesse's drawing here. Uh, not sure at this point what Jesse's outs are going to be. I mean, he, he's he's behind an economy. He's behind in... And they're definitely on board. All of his ice are currently invalidated by Wolfie's superior board state. It's probably just a matter of time here, unfortunately. I mean, anything can happen in the game of Netrunner. Like, Jesse might want to try and catch him out with the snare. So that was the snare there. And there's the, mm. there's the Oak Town, which was discarded earlier. So Jesse hasn't seen the Jackson either, which is unfortunate. Mm. Has discarded the sea source, but looks at things. So I guess that's... Potentially an advantage of him playing that uh, sea source package as a as a backup in that mm. you know potentially could be hitting a could hit a snare off R and D yeah. could something could exactly go wrong. right and that's why we've been saying for a long time never run the last click yeah uh, shout out to our friends in London but <laughs> 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 uh, okay so Wolfie's got his second uh, clan chip down they're just still building that board even though he knows he only needs one one piece left. I uh, want one, one point to go. So mm. Never want to take too many risks. You always no, want no, he's, he's, he's risk averse. I think it's in his programming. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <A> protocol. <laughs> I tried to trick him to walk down a staircase once when there was no stairs and he said, but I will fall. <laughs> 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 All right, so we're protecting that remote, which we don't know what it is uh, at this stage. I'm actually unsure. Maybe it could be the cheeky first turn agenda. I'm just going to leave it there until the end of the end of the game mm. thing, which Jesse has never done and is not like to do. Mm. Um, it's not, we know it's probably not a Jackson because he would have Jacksoned away that Oaktown. Yep. And uh, any sort of uh, asset economy would uh, 
would have been res by now for sure. So I mean, there's potential that it's just another snare. I'm not sure what Jesse's influence looks like, but if it is, like I mean, we just talked that out. But Wolfie's Wolfie's able to go through the, you know, do the the cognitive thing much faster than you or I, and he would have been able to narrow down quite quickly what that face down remote is. And the fact that Jesse um, has protected it here uh, probably doesn't matter. I'd, I'd be very surprised if we see Wolfie interact with that remote at all. Mm. Okay, so. Um, Jesse's protecting archives there. Obviously, in response to the dirty laundry, he just copped to the face. Not getting a not getting a lot of economy here. Still needs to no, see not. Case. Jesse just needs. So yeah, he's replaced that there. So uh, no, that's probably the snare or some sort of asset. Jesse just needs a cheeky cheeky score from an atlas, like an overscore atlas, could really put him back online in a lot of ways. But the fact that we haven't seen the public support or a hostile or anything like that to really boost him up has been a pain. And here we got the. Um, the R&D interface, interface, which yeah. these lists I think only play one one of, sometimes two. Um, but they're mainly relying on uh, Maker's Eye to, to do their work for them. Pop, so the, uh, pop the technical run. And here we go. So it's a big R&D run for four cards. Yeah, so okay, let's have a look here. I mean, you see one there straight off the top, but if you initiative. Very powerful, powerful yeah. one. <laughs> All right, Okay, guys. there he goes. All right, yeah, and Jesse's revealed his hands. He's got quite a, quite a lot of agenda, <laughs> so yeah. I mean, yeah, so obviously, unfortunately, a bit of a flooding situation there for Jesse, as we uh, saw there in the end. I really want to know what that um, that that thing was there that was the, the asset that was sitting there for a while. I imagine it was a snare or something. We'll never know. We'll never know. We'll never There's know. no really way to no, no way. Lost to the you, annals of history. Yeah. How do you, how do you feel about that game, Tom? Uh, look, I think it was uh, a bit of uh, Jesse being a bit over eager. Mm-hmm. miscalculating mm-hmm. Um, well I mean I've been in that situation before and sometimes oh, you just all, want to be like oh sorry Scorch yeah, I think you'll find you are dead <laughs> uh, we've, we've all been in that situation yeah. but uh, outside of that I think he just uh, Kate just set up a bit too quickly for him he, yeah. he had his most of his rig he had the economy going on um, and uh, that really just kind of sealed mm. things up yeah. he, he, and he was constantly uh, he mm-hmm. hit well hit yeah. often um, but uh, yeah well, yeah. thanks to everyone for uh, yeah. for watching the video. Thanks to our Patreon uh, subscribers yeah, for, for making, making this happen. happen. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Uh, if you want to support us, you can find us on Patreon or you can pick up a winning agenda mat on Inked Playmats. Otherwise, you can just tune in every week for the Winning Agenda podcast. I've been Thomas Daniel. I've been Brian Holland. And we'll see you for the next one. Sure.